time now for showbiz becky is not here she's left me alone over here but spokesperson on creative arts with regards to the ndc's election 2020 manifesto rex Omar has given a general overview of the people's manifesto launched by the ndc monday rex Omar says this manifesto is a good one addressing all the concerns of the creative arts sector starting with the creation of a separate ministry for the arts very major thing that changes the game is the standalone ministry for um, creatives and digital economy. Um, this is to say um, the creative economy is going to be decoupled from the Ministry of Tourism so that it becomes a standalone um, ministry that will take care of the creative industry. I mean, when people talk about creative industry in Ghana, we think it's only music and film. No, it is very big. You're talking about fashion, you're talking about um, um, writing, you're talking about painting, you're talking about photography, you're talking about um, sculpture, you're talking about textiles, software development, uh, plant breeding, um, weaving, it's a whole lot. Now, Rex Omar says they have plans to make these promises achievable. I mean, all, all these things, the Manifesto Committee uh, taught about all these things. I mean, our finance team is a crack um, team. We know um, our debt um, uh, ratio to GDP that we know that we've as a country we've overborrowed so um, our finance team they are they are, they are sharp people and they, are, they, they they've thought out uh, plans to be able to raise fund, funding to do all these things then uh, most importantly um, you see we are in COVID yeah. COVID has taught us that we have to be self-reliance so everything that our manifesto is talking about is to first is centered on job creation and centered up in empowering Ghanaians to own the, the controlling heights of our economy. So our manifesto is saying that there's some there, there's a policy in it they call a um, big push and it's for infrastructure development and everything. And then it is clear that all people who are going to work within this policy must be Ghanaian registered companies in Ghana, people who pay taxes to Ghana. So it is Ghanaian contractors. So everything that we're doing in, 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 in relation to the creative arts is the same. We are going to empower our filmmakers, our fashion, our musicians, our sculptures, or whatever, so as to be able to create products that will sell to Ghanaians and also export.